talk to the guy. I could do this. Watch. I oh, I'm gonna regret this decision. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh boy, I hate these lock puzzles so much. They're the bane of my existence, guys. I swear they are. Hey guys, my name is JumpSelex and welcome back to some more Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. In today's episode, we are hopefully going to finish up case number 6 and the very last case. Now, hmm, something's just not adding up. Everything I've been doing and all the evidence I've been getting keeps pointing to keeps pointing to uh, Wiggins' brother, Chapman, but I just don't understand. There has to be more. We have this black piece of hair. Jail 3, I just don't understand. So we're going back to Half Moon Street. Okay, guys, so we're back at Half Moon Street, and I just suspect that there's something going on. Oh, another cutscene. The hell? Wiggins, my lad, what are you doing here? You'd best be leaving and be quick about it. I've done nothing wrong. You'd learn more by watching Mr. Holmes. He knows exactly what he's doing. Not like you. Oi, watch your tongue. I'm getting really suspicious of this policeman here. Um, what the hell? He still would be my. No, no, no! I don't want to examine his body. I want to. I want to do something. It just doesn't make sense. Wiggins. I know you want to. I'm trying to help you. I have an idea, guys. We're gonna go with all the red options. Can we do that? I'm gonna play around with this because there's no way that <gasps> that I changed up. There it is. All right, we had to move stuff around, guys. We had to move stuff around. All right, what do we got now? The person who was seen only by Lee and Chapman escaped the crime scene by climbing the wall. He was a skillful acrobat. The criminal took a gun from one of the dead bodies. Vanishing act. See, I just I knew I had to move stuff around. All right, Wiggins. Mr. Holmes? We have good news for you, Wiggins. The investigation has proven very interesting so far. We found facts and details that confirm your brother's innocence. I knew it, Mr. Holmes. But for now, Wiggins, we need your help. Anything you like, Gov. I need you to locate a circus that has stopped over in London. It needs to have disposed of at least one exotic animal. A very large one. You can count on me, Mr. Holmes. Okay, so we're going to have uh, Wiggins help us out here. Are we going to get a few days later or something? I don't know. But yeah, so I decided to move stuff around, guys, because I had a feeling it's not his brother. Okay, so we're looking for a circus and that piece of hair that we found from a bigger animal. Hmm. Because what I decided to do, guys, was I decided to move stuff around. Because it made more sense instead of putting the blame on his brother, which would have been very easy. Next morning, very early morning. Hmm. I do hope that those children don't get into trouble, Holmes. Don't worry, Watson. I predict some news in seven seconds. Mr. Holmes, we found it. Here it is. Nice job, Sherlock. A picture this of an elephant. Is a young Indian elephant, the highlight of the show. Duval Brothers, a well-known traveling circus that is currently stopped in London. I believe that is exactly the type of circus we are looking for. I'll pay it a visit. Okay, so we can now go to the circus, and those other areas we were at are now closed off. Okay. Once again, that lady's still standing there. I won't be able to join you. I promised to visit a patient today. It's all I right, Watson. I think that I can handle this alone. Yeah, that's fine, Watson. It's fine. I can take care of myself. I don't need your help. All right, we're going to the Devil Bros Circus. All right, you. Stop right there. Good morning, sir. Pardon me, but why am I not allowed to walk around here? 
Because it's private. Well, I only wanted to meet the artists. Hmm? You're wanting to apply for... Nah. You don't look like the type of uh, artistic lockpicker that we're looking for. You might be surprised. What? Nah. I don't think so. Clear off. You're a bit slow to catch on, eh? Get lost. Disguise yourself in order to enter the circus. Oh, for the love of God. Alright, guys. I'll be right back. I have to go disguise myself. Okay, we are back at the Baker Street to once again get our costume of choice. Apparently, we need to get a uh, clown costume. I don't even know if we have that. Do we have that? Uh, where do we... Where would we possibly get a clown suit at? Hmm. That is a good question since all of our costumes, um, you know. <sighs> For the love of God. I'd better. W sure. Sherlock, which hat do you want me to wear? Stay where you are. What are you doing here, and where is Sherlock Holmes? Finally, I figured it out. Oh my God! It's me. Thank God, Holmes. I can't get used to your disguises. Thank you, Watson. That means I am ready to go. Okay, guys. So we have our costume that we're going to wear for the circus. It took me a second to figure it out, but we're going to go ahead and make our way over there right now. My name is Nigel. I'm here to open the locks. Talented, eh? Let's see. Go inside the marquee and show yourself to Charles Foley. And I'd highly advise you not to trick him. Got that? I've got it. Okay, so we're back at the uh, circus here with our new costume. So let's go ahead and talk to that guy. Though I'm exposed. Yeah, I'm sure there's some stuff we can find here. Hmm. Explore the circus, eh? Do they have any exotic animals here? Anyways, let's go see if that guy's up here. So, everything is here just as you asked. And what about the money? Some of the barrels are wet. Transportation issues, it couldn't be helped. Whatever. We'll be here after midnight to pick up the supplies. <clears throat> I want to be paid hmm. first. No. You'll be paid after we make the transfer, as I said. Right? I hope that no one saw you. The police are on the lookout. Of course not. I'm a professional. Glad to hear it. Be ready for tonight, then. All right, so we got ourselves some suspects. Hmm... Let's see here, Sherlock, what do we got? Hmm, what do we have next? Explore the circus and become acquainted with Charles. Yeah, uh, I'm trying. Oh. Barrels. This wooden barrel is damaged. It is difficult to say what is inside. Object of interest. This. There is a spot on this barrel that was intentionally painted out. Hmm. Is there anything else? That is a. Hmm. This. This. The barrels are roughly clustered. It seems as though they were brought here in a hurry. The barrel. Yeah, I would say so. I would say so, Sherlock. But there's probably something else here. Oh, the crest of the Honorable Artillery Company. Could it be gunpowder? I need to be sure. Um. Hit it. Uh. Judging by the fractions and the scent, 
I can confirm that it is, in fact, gunpowder. Okay. Interesting. So we have that. What else can we find here? That is the question, guys. What else can we find? Um. Now, who is the last guy that we're going to be meeting in this case? Apparently, it's going to be uh, the man that we saw. Is there anything here that we can use as a... Uh, as a way to... Let's go back over here. Let's see. Painting press, what's this? Um, rise up and keep rising from lambs into lions. That's a, that's a picture of a contemporary gentleman wearing a Robin Hood hat. Interesting. From lambs into lions. Those are words of encouragement and defiance. This poster was clearly made to fire up rebellion amongst the people. Okay. Mm, there are enough posters to paste across half of London's walls. Yeah, mm. probably. This print. Hmm, okay. Powder kegs, a printing press, and a great many blank papers. All of this was stolen by the Merry Men quite recently. And these poster samples. I am quite sure it is not a coincidence. The Merry Men are planning some sort of sabotage. Stop right here. Who are you? Are you Charles Foley? Maybe. They say that I can open any door. Do they now? We'll see that lock near the chains on the table over there. Open that. Okay, let's go ahead and examine this guy. This must be the murderer. Hmm. Um, let's see here. Complex key, protected safe. Uh, oh, bloody bandages, recent trauma. Hmm. A gun. Armed. Bulldog revolver. Coat throat. Five rams of... Okay. St okay. Got stuff there. And... What's the last one? Tape fingers. Acrobat. Exactly. Oh, for the love of God, these achievements. A methodical man got the 26 character portraits. Nice. Awesome. So that's all those. Okay, so we got all the character portraits, guys. And with that, let's go ahead and um, talk to the guy. I could do this. Watch. I, oh, I'm going to regret this decision. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. I hate these lock puzzles so much. They're the bane of my existence, guys. I swear they are. Well, the game wants us to move it in a bit, like that, like that, and then, um, ah, uh, is this one of the ones that I can rotate? Jeez, why do they make me do these stupid puzzles, dude? That looks better, actually. That looks a lot better. There we go. Got it. But why did we unlock that for? Okay. So we did that for you, sir. Anyways, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Because we are getting closer and closer to the end of this case. So, next time Let's Play Sherlock Holmes, we're going to continue this case and hopefully find out who the murderer is. I assume it's this guy right here. But we'll see. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to become a gem, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Hey, Justin, bro. Here in one piece. I thought you were dead. Uh, you thought I was dead? Excuse me? <laughs>
What a dick. All right, now tell me how to rebuild. I like my storage cabin with my treasures inside. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh